Go ahead. This is a short pre-lab lecture for LBS 172L Vitamin Analysis Lab. We're going to focus on the chloride and iodide anion test because they're tricky. They have to be run simultaneously. First, you're going to be testing your known solution called B, in which all the anions are present. To this, you will add nitric acid simply to acidify the mixture. After that, you will add one molar, excuse me, point one molar silver nitrate. What that will do will cause a precipitate of silver chloride and silver iodide. Then, you'll add aqueous ammonia to this, to this precipitate. Silver iodide does not react with ammonia, so it stays as a precipitate. Silver iodide also has a yellowish cast to it, so you could identify it that way. Silver chloride, on the other hand, reacts with ammonia to give a complex cation that has two molecules of ammonia bound to a silver plus. The chloride ion hangs out for charge balance, and this whole species is soluble. So what you'll do at this point is centrifuge this mixture. You'll continue to have the silver iodide precipitate down at the bottom. What you're interested in here is the supernatant liquid. That's the liquid above the precipitate. You want to withdraw this from the centrifuge tube and put it in a well plate. Then, you'll reacidify with nitric acid. And then you will re-precipitate out your silver chloride. So that's the behavior with the known solution type B that contains all of your anions. Obviously, in the case of distilled water, you're negative controlled. You won't see any precipitations throughout this procedure. So, how does this pertain to your vitamin analysis where you don't know whether you have chloride, iodide, both, or neither? Let's see how this works. You'll take your vitamin solution that you made by treating your vitamin with acetic acid, heating, and then filtering. You will acidify it again with nitric acid. and then you'll add the 0.1 molar silver nitrate solution. At this point, if you have no precipitate, celebrate. You're done. You have neither chloride or iodide. If you have no precipitate, you're negative for chloride ion, and you have a negative test for iodide ion, and you can move on. Chances are, your life won't be that simple. If you have a precipitate, you have three possible situations, and you don't know which at this point. Your three possibilities are is that you're positive for chloride and positive for iodide, meaning you have both. Or you could have just chloride and not iodide. Or could have just iodide and no chloride. So let's look at this in a little more depth to see how to differentiate among these three possibilities. All of your precipitate redissolves when ammonia is added. Given what you saw before, how silver chloride dissolves in ammonia, and silver iodide does not, if this is your case, all the precipitate redissolves, you know you have chloride, and you know you don't have iodide. If none or some of your precipitate redissolves with ammonia, you're still not determinate yet.
Well, you know you have iodine. We know that silver iodide does not react with ammonia. It will not be dissolved. So we know the iodide is present. But at this point, we don't know if we have the chloride. So what you have to do then is centrifuge and withdraw the supernatant fluid again. At this point, you will reacidify your supernatant liquid with nitric acid. If, at this point, you see a white precipitate, we knew there was chloride in this solution. We are positive for chloride ion. If you get no white precipitate, in fact, if you get no precipitate at all, you know you're negative for chloride ion. So with this procedure, you should be able to tell whether or not you have iodide, chloride, both or neither in your vitamin solution. Thanks for listening.